Before you reach for that hoe or fire up the weed trimmer, take a moment to identify what's actually growing in your garden. Some of the plants we've been taught to despise are actually nature's soil doctors, working tirelessly to repair damaged earth, accumulate nutrients from deep underground, and create conditions that benefit our cultivated crops. These humble weeds have been healing landscapes for thousands of years, and it's time we learn to work with them instead of against them. That bright yellow flower poking through your pristine lawn is actually performing underground miracles you can't see. Dandelions send their taproots down as deep as 15 feet, breaking through compacted hardpan layers that most garden plants can never penetrate. As these roots grow and eventually decompose, they create natural drainage channels that improve soil structure for decades. The real magic happens when dandelions pull minerals like potassium, iron and calcium from deep in the subsoil and concentrate them in their leaves. When you cut dandelions and leave them to decompose, you're essentially mining nutrients from the earth's basement and depositing them where your shallow-rooted vegetables can access them. Instead of cursing these golden beauties, harvest the leaves regularly for your compost pile or use them as a living mulch around your tomatoes and peppers. Allow dandelions to grow in pathways between garden beds where their roots can work their soil-loosening magic without competing directly with your crops. Cut them back before they set seed if you're concerned about spread, but let those roots keep working underground. The improved soil structure they create will benefit your garden for years to come. Don't let the intimidating name fool you. Stinging nettles are among the most valuable plants you can have near your garden. These vigorous growers are incredibly efficient at extracting nitrogen from the soil and atmosphere, then storing it in their leaves in forms that other plants can readily use. A patch of nettles is essentially a living fertilizer factory, operating at no cost to you. Nettles thrive in rich, moist soil and indicate good fertility levels, so their presence tells you that your soil has potential. When you cut nettles and add them to your compost, they act as an activator, speeding decomposition and creating nutrient-rich finished compost in half the usual time. You can also make liquid fertilizer by steeping chopped nettle leaves in water for two weeks creating a potent plant food that rivals expensive commercial fertilizers. Manage nettles by establishing them in a designated area away from main garden beds, then harvest regularly for compost material. Wear gloves when handling fresh nettles, but remember that cooking or drying completely eliminates their sting. Many experienced gardeners maintain a nettle patch specifically for its soil-building benefits, treating it as the essential garden resource rather than a nuisance. Red clover is nature's way of adding nitrogen to tired soils, and smart gardeners have learned to use this legume as a living soil amendment. Like all members of the legume family, red clover hosts special bacteria and root nodules that convert atmospheric nitrogen into forms plants can use. When the clover eventually dies, it releases all that accumulated nitrogen directly into the soil. Beyond nitrogen fixation, Red Clover's extensive root system improves soil structure and adds organic matter as roots grow, die, and regrow throughout the growing season. The flowers attract beneficial insects including pollinators and predatory species that help control garden pests naturally. This creates a beneficial cycle where the clover improves your soil while supporting the insects your garden needs to thrive. Allow Red Clover to establish in unused corners of your garden or between vegetable rows where it won't compete aggressively with main crops. Cut it back several times during the growing season, leaving the clippings as mulch to decompose and add organic matter. The root system continues working even after cutting, and the plant quickly regrows from its crown, providing multiple harvests of biomass throughout the season. Alfalfa's reputation as the queen of forages extends beyond feeding livestock. This remarkable plant is equally valuable for feeding and healing soil. Alfalfa roots can penetrate soil to depths of 20 feet or more, making it one of nature's most effective subsoil miners. These deep roots access nutrients and minerals that remain completely unavailable to shallow-rooted crops, then bring them to the surface through leaf growth. The plant's ability to fix nitrogen rivals that of other legumes, but alfalfa goes further by adding substantial organic matter to soil through its extensive root system. Research shows that established alfalfa plants contribute more organic matter through root growth and decay than most gardeners add through composting. When alfalfa finally dies back, it leaves behind root channels that improve drainage and aeration for whatever grows there next. Establishing alfalfa requires patience since it develops slowly in the first year, but mature plants provide decades of soil improvement with minimal management. Plant it in areas where you can allow it to establish without disturbance, 
then harvest the top growth regularly for composting material while letting the roots continue their underground work. This delicate, low-growing plant often appears in gardens during cool weather, and many gardeners immediately reach for the hoe without realizing they're destroying a valuable soil protector. Chickweed forms a living mulch that shields soil from erosion while its shallow roots help maintain soil structure in the top few inches where most biological activity occurs. Chickweed thrives in fertile, well-drained soil, and its presence indicates good soil health. The plant decomposes quickly when cut, adding readily available organic matter that feeds soil microorganisms. Unlike aggressive weeds that compete heavily with crops, chickweed grows gently among established plants without causing significant competition for light or nutrients. Rather than eliminating chickweed, learn to manage it strategically allow it to grow as a living mulch around established perennials and shrubs where its soil protecting benefits outweigh any minor competition. In vegetable beds, you can easily hand pull what you don't want while leaving some to protect bare soil between plantings. Comfrey deserves a place in every serious gardener's toolkit as one of the most productive biomass plants you can grow. This perennial herb sends deep tap roots into the subsoil to mine potassium, phosphorus, and other minerals, then concentrates them in large, fast-growing leaves that can be harvested multiple times per season. The leaves break down quickly when added to compost, releasing their stored nutrients in forms that garden plants can immediately use. Comfrey's potassium content rivals that of expensive commercial fertilizers, making it especially valuable for fruiting crops like tomatoes, peppers, and fruit trees that require substantial potassium for proper development. Establish comfrey in a permanent location since mature plants develop extensive root systems that resist transplanting. Harvest leaves regularly throughout the growing season, cutting the plant back to ground level three to four times annually. The more you harvest, the more the plant produces, creating a renewable source of high-quality organic matter for your garden. While most gardeners know marigolds as colorful annuals, fewer realize that these flowers actively improve soil health while deterring harmful pests. Marigolds release compounds through their roots that suppress harmful nematodes and soil-borne fungi, essentially acting as a biological soil treatment that works continuously throughout the growing season. Different marigold varieties offer varying levels of soil benefits, with French marigolds being particularly effective against root-knot nematodes that damage vegetable crops. As marigolds grow and eventually decompose, they add organic matter while leaving behind soil that's been naturally treated against common garden problems. Integrate marigolds throughout your vegetable garden rather than relegating them to ornamental borders. Plant them between tomato rows, around pepper plants, and near any crops that struggle with soil-borne issues. Allow some flowers to go to seed and self-sow, creating a self-perpetuating system of soil improvement and pest management. This impressive plant with distinctive white-veined leaves and purple flowers acts like a liver for damaged soil, helping to detoxify contaminated ground while building soil structure through its substantial taproot. Milk thistle thrives in poor conditions where other plants struggle, making it valuable for rehabilitating degraded areas of your landscape. The plant's deep taproot breaks up compacted soil layers, while its extensive leaf growth adds significant organic matter when it eventually decomposes. Milk thistle also provides habitat and food for beneficial insects, including native bees and butterflies that support overall garden health. Manage milk thistle by allowing it to establish in problem areas where other plants fail, then harvest the above-ground portions before seeds mature if you want to control spread. The roots can remain in place to continue improving soil structure, and new growth will emerge to continue the soil-building process. Ready to transform your relationship with garden weeds and discover nature's free soil improvement team? Hit that subscribe button on Hydrohaven for more eye-opening gardening wisdom that works with nature instead of against it. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new, and share it with fellow gardeners who are ready to see their landscapes differently. Drop a comment below and tell us about any weeds you've learned to appreciate in your own garden. We love hearing about your discoveries and experiences with these unsung heroes of soil health.